Hello and welcome back to Doing It Down Under with Melbourne City FC. As you can see, I am back for the li this live con against Wellington Phoenix. And as you can see, we are still outside of the playoffs. The last time I met you, which was a day or two ago now, was when I didn't do a live con as I didn't have enough time. So I just went through the games all the way up to Central Coast Mariners. But since then, we have won one and lost one, or not in that order, but lost one and won one. So, the first game after that, we lost against Adelaide United 1-0. Very annoying. I, now, did I show you this? No, I did show you this. Yes, I did. So, actually, I've only played one game off camera, and that was the Wellington Jets game, which we won... 2-1 away. We didn't deserve it, but I changed the tactics a bit and we won 2-0 in the end with Dimitri Pelkas being the man of the match and Bullet getting on the score sheet twice and to score in the 90 plus 2 minutes. So, yes, the tactic change I made was I turned this attacking midfielder into a from a shadow striker into a Trequatista. So, hopefully that will pay off as well. So I join you today of all days, I mean I could have gone on a bit further, but today of all days as a, we're going to play Melbourne, well, uh, Wellington Phoenix, but also I'm pretty sure that today is also the day that the next round of the Asian Champions League is drawn and that would be the group stage of the Champions League as the last game, qualifying games for the group stage are being played tonight. So hopefully you can see the draw or I can show you what teams that we get in the draw so hopefully that will work out after the Wellington Phoenix game so it's not just because I really want to do video within a game's time I just thought it'd be really good to show you who we get in the group stage and I'll try for the group stage to show us playing the three teams once so you there probably be I'll probably have three Asian Champions League group stage videos. I'm not going to do every single game as I get a bit repetitive. Yeah. So that's how I'm probably most likely going to do it. But let's go straight into the game today against Wellington Phoenix, who are ninth in the table and we are seventh. This is the team I shall be going in with, with our basically a full strength side, except Pelkas is out injured, so that's a bit unlucky. But. Luongo is in for Eric Partaloo who hasn't been performing as well and I think I need to give Luongo a chance a bit more because seeing that he is our um, um, Australian marquee player and our £1.3 million signing so this is the team that we're going in with so Wellington Phoenix I think as I might have said before have signed some really good players like Kelvin who is not playing oh he is playing Kelvin Brilliant. I signed him on one of my pass saves. I think with Yanksy or y Yanti in Greece, which was an, one of my offline saves that I did before I started YouTube. I signed him. And they also signed Broxham, who I was looking at at the beginning of the season, but I got Congola instead. So, yeah, they look like a good team, even though they're in ninth. Sadly, it's sad to see the New Zealand team doing bad, but that's how it goes. So, opposition instructions will be as followed, as follows, and let's do the team talk, we're favourites, that's something I'm going to say, assertively, I have the faith, calmly actually, I have the faith, and calmly, I have the faith. So, is all the settings right? Yes, they are. So, let's go straight into the game, they kick off, Boxall, to Broxham, to Kelvin, cuts inside. To McGlinchley, to Brokey, who gets tackled by Yerman. So Akiyoshi, to Meredith. Back to Meredith. Longo tries a shot, doesn't pull it off. But Meredith is pulled down in the box by Louis, or Lewis, or however you want to pronounce it, Fenton. And Corin has a chance to step up and give it the lead to us. And he does. He sends a keeper the long ray. And we are 1-0 up within three minutes. It's a good start, so I won't lie. As you can see, we're playing in our red and white strip. I think we alternate, just alternate. It doesn't matter if we're home or away, we just alternate. Alternate. Because, of course, 
the old when it, um, uh, the old Melbourne Heart team played in red and white, so I think it's kind of fitting to see us play in both kits. So as you can see, we're dominating, which is what I like to see. They haven't even had a shot on yet. Yermin tries to find the back in there, and it goes out to Kelvin in the end. This is a brilliant performance, just how I like to see. I don't get many of these performances anymore, but Bullet has a chance to make it 2-0, but Moss, the New Zealand number one keeper and Wellington number one keeper, manages to keep his hand steady and not to concede another. So it looks like it's going to be half time and we're going to go in 1-0 and they haven't even had a shot yet. Congola looking a bit bad today so I'm going to take him off and bring on trusted and tried Eric Partelou as who, who doesn't really. I think Partelou could probably go into any Australian A-League side and play which is absolutely brilliant. And I'm going to say calmly I'm happy with the performance so far as I am and I keep on saying that. So we have a throw in McGowan, pass it to Luongo, it comes to nothing in the end. Corin is all the way back there, gives it to Meredith, to Partaloo, to Luongo, to Bullet. Tries a shot from long range and he gets it, it's 2-0. Karen Bullet, 14th goal of the season. I think that puts him ahead of Andrew Kio, and he is having the season of his life, even though I was saying earlier in the season that he wasn't scoring, but he's now scored, I think, uh, 12 and 13 which is much better than all his past seasons even though his past seasons have been absolutely brilliant Retri to Bullet who heads over but Bullet I, he must, he's been an inspired signing in that first season because I thought I was going to buy him as a backup because I thought David Williams was good but in pre-season that first season he showed me that he was good enough and that's why he's in the team today and for the past three seasons and he scored over I'm going to say over 50 goals for us which is absolutely brilliant that's a good tackle by Meredith but they still managed to keep hold of the ball Kelvin who has bags of pace and dribbling is he going to find his way into the box he does but Redmayne is there to save that's good Kelvin with the corner Tikin Krishna who was one of my favourite players in the league and they managed to score. Rinderton puts it 2-1. We need to concentrate at the moment because we are we do still have only a 1-0 lead. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. We've dominated the game, but you know what? This is football manager. Anything can happen. Fenton with a shot. Redmayne saves. Um, this is nerve-wracking. Meredith is picked up a knock, it looks like. Luongo, please steal it. See, no, no, Meredith. He's been on, he's been unstoppable. Ah, there, there, get words out. James Meredith has been unstoppable, but he has lacking fitness. I don't want to know if I want to take him off. Oh, I'm going to have to take him off. Oh, yes, okay. I'm going to take him off, fitness-wise. So we have a corner. It looks like Akiyoshi is going to take it to Yerman. Nope. Comes back out to Yakiyoshi to Yolongo. Tries the long shot and it goes skimming past the post. Unlucky there. Fenton. I find Akiyoshi though. Musket. Oh, Redmayne has to tip that over the bar as that looked like it was going in. Kelvin with the corner. And it's a throw in. Doyle to McGowan. And puts it back out. Why do they keep on having highlights? Riera, Kelvin. Ah, uh, no, no, get it out, get it out. Okay, three minutes to withstand, another two minutes in extra time. I think we've got the 2-1 victory. This shouldn't have been as dodgy at the end as it was, but we just need to see out the game. And we have, we have a 2-1 victory over Wellington Phoenix, which is a good deserved victory. And I'm quite happy with that, I'm gonna say. Well done, lads. Good win for us. They're happy. And that puts us up to fifth. And now we are only three points away from third. I don't think we're not going to win the regular season. But we, I think we're definitely secure, secure a place in the playoffs. Which is what kind of we would have wanted at the beginning of the season. But hmm, we could have maybe done better. But, well, we just have to do what we deal with, if that makes any sense. So, Bullet was on form, they they believe the referee made a good call. 
I'm just going to send my assistant to this because I want to hopefully fit in the Champions League group stage draw. Hopefully that will come up soon. If it doesn't, I'll just end the video and I'll show you in the next episode. But so let's see. Yeah, the processing time can take a bit of a while as I do have lots of leagues loaded and that's just so I can have lots of players to bring in because I don't like playing on small databases as A I can't see how other teams are doing in other leagues and B it's not fun oh oh they've already they've drawn it and we have got a really hard groups by the looks of it just now <sighs> we have F Marinos who are a Japanese side looks like they've only got regens as I don't think Football Manager has the rights to the Japanese league how have they done in past seasons? I'm not sure. I'm not sure really, but then we have Fully, a Chinese team. I don't know if they're the best in China. I don't think so. But they've got some good players. Now this is a team that we could beat by the looks of their players. No disrespect to them, but looks like a good team to beat. Just going through all the players now. Sorry. And we also have Seoul, who are a beast. A beast, yes. They have won it, the Korean K-League, so many times in the past seasons. They're going to be such a hard team to beat. So I think the best we can do in this group is going to be second. We just need to get through that group stage. Um, the other team represented... Well, the other team are Perth and Melbourne S S Victory. I'll just have a look where they got two. They've got they've got an easy group. Well, not that easy, but they've got an Indonesian team. And Perth have again the same kind of group as us. I think we we've all been drawn into similar groups. With Chinese team a. So our three in team and a Japanese team and that means we've been given 50k roughly and that's going to do wonders to our bank statement not won't make a big impact but if we play in the Champions League for a long period of time we could I was estimating if we go on to win it which is highly unlikely we would secure around about 1 million 1.5 million pounds in prize money which will do wonders but I don't think we're going to win it will be good it would be really good just to get out of the group stage. So I'll probably meet you back for the first game of the group stage, which is against Seoul. And then I'll meet you probably for a fully game. A fully game. And then for the last game against F Mariners. It's a bit it's a bit awkward how it runs in, but I've been the force of a twenty four. This has been Melbourne City. We just got a victory against Wellington Phoenix. Did I say Wellborn City? Melbourne City, and we beat Wellington Phoenix, and we've been drawn in against a Japanese side in in F Marinos, a Chinese side in Fully, and a Korean South Korean side against Seoul. So, and I am out.